We're going to draw like a smooth curve from one side to the other. But observe if we do that, oh, we're, we are forced to have a place where the slope of the tangent equals zero, right? We're forced to have either a peak or a valley. I wrote both of them just to kind of illustrate that this can occur both ways, but we're forced to have one of them, right? Now you might say, well, I could have a flat line, right? But if I have a flat line, well, that also gives me a place where the derivative is zero, right? And then just to, you know, be really thorough here, we can say that this point where this occurs is our point down here, which is called C. So let's say we wanted to do this. Let's verify Rolle's theorem in a couple of settings. So let's say we have f of x equals uh, x squared plus 4x on the interval from negative 2, is that right? Negative 4 to 0. Okay. So probably the first thing that we want to do is uh, check the hypotheses. I'll just put H for hypotheses of Rolle's theorem. So, well, what do we need? We need this thing to be continuous on that interval and differentiable on this that interval. But both of those are kind of clearly true. So continuous, uh, differentiable, check. And that's because, well, we said that like polynomial type functions always had that sort of property. And then let's look at F of, negative four, which happens to be zero, which happens to be the same thing as f of zero. So that means this part of the hypothesis is also checked. Now let's check that the conclusion holds, but observe that Rolle's theorem guarantees that the conclusion will hold. But let's check the conclusion because that's what we mean by verify. So let's check the conclusion of Rolle's theorem, which means we want to solve the equation f prime of x equals zero. Essentially find a critical point, but we don't really use that language for this kind of setup. So let's see, we'll have f prime of x is equal to, well, that's gonna be two x plus four. That's equal to zero when x equals negative two. And observe that negative two is most definitely between negative four and zero.